Hello everyone, we are starting a new series on hemodialysis in ICU. Welcome as we're going to explain how this process works, from the patient to the machine, and back to the patient again. Let's get started. To initiate hemodialysis, we first need to create a specialized vascular access site. This allows us to connect the patient to the dialysis machine. The most common one is a AV fistula in CKD patients. It's crucial for patients to consult a vascular surgeon about six months before they start dialysis to plan for this access site. Once it's placed, there's a waiting period for the access to mature. An arteriovenous fistula, or AV fistula, is a surgical connection between an artery and a vein. It allows for a fast flow of blood from the artery, enabling the placement of two needles in the access and a blood flow rate of greater than 400 milliliters per minute. If an AV fistula doesn't mature properly, surgical interventions may be needed. If a patient cannot have an AV fistula, we might use a graft instead. A graft is a connection between an artery and a vein using synthetic material. It is usually large enough for blood flow and needle placement immediately, although it can sometimes take up to eight weeks before it can be used. Vascular access sites, whether they are AV fistulas or grafts, are usually placed in the patient's non-dominant arm. After placement, these access sites should only be used for dialysis. We must avoid any actions that might damage the access, such as taking blood pressure in the arm with the access. Even after the access is matured, we don't necessarily start dialysis immediately. Instead, we wait until the patient has indications that dialysis is needed. In some cases, dialysis may need to be started urgently. In these situations, a catheter can be placed in the internal jugular or femoral vein and used immediately. Once the patient's vascular access is ready, we can switch from the catheter to the vascular access for hemodialysis. Now, let's look at the basic steps involved in preparing an access for hemodialysis. Catheters are the easiest to use as they can be directly connected to the dialysis machine. However, the steps for accessing a fistula or graft are similar and will be reviewed next. Firstly, we apply a local anesthetic to the area 30 minutes before dialysis. This step is optional and depends on the patient. Next, we clean the area using aseptic techniques, and then insert two 15-gauge needles. The blood flow rate should be greater than 350 milliliter per minute. The first needle, known as the arterial needle, leads to the dialyzer, or artificial kidney. The second needle, known as the venous needle, is placed downstream and is used for the outflow. Once dialysis is complete, the needles are removed. Pressure is applied to the area for 10 minutes or longer if anticoagulation was used. Finally, bandages are applied to the area. And that's it, folks. That's the general process of preparing a patient for hemodialysis. We hope this video has been informative and helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more educational videos like this one. Thank you for watching.